City Farmer TV and I'm with Heather from the Aquarium, Vancouver Aquarium. Hi Heather. Hi. I'm putting you on the spot but I, I'd like to know what's going on with composting here at the Aquarium. And look who just went down. Oh, I'll be running e going. Emac is saying hello to us. Who is it? Emac. Emac. He's our oldest, biggest uh, beluga. Oh, well, he'll come up again and uh, I'll get him on camera. But tell me about the composting before he starts watching. Well, it's very exciting. We have just implemented, as of January 7th, 2008, a full public composting program here at the aquarium. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see behind me, we have um, composting receptacle bins for all public areas at the Upstream Cafe, right. which is our main cafe at the aquarium here. So people come here and eat, and they can take their food waste, and what else? Uh, all food scraps, right. um, compostable plates, yeah. cutlery, cups, wow. hot beverage containers, paper napkins. Uh, almost about 80% of the waste that's generated from the Upstream Cafe will be compostable. Wow, so with these... The most of it being 100% so, the next so these are compostable. These are all compostable cutlery as well the wooden stir sticks are compostable. And where do people take the food waste when they finished eating? I'm jumping in on you. <laughs> Well, they bring it over to our waste collection system here. Right. So we have our general um, waste or other garbage bin, which would include all food packaging and any items that are not recyclable yep. or compostable. We have the recycling container, so it's all plastics, metal, glass, and tetra packs. So yep. any juice, juice tins that come from children, of course. And then we have our, our big green bin, which is our composting bin. This is the be, baby. This, this is, is the baby. You want to open it for me? Yeah. I know this is the it's kind of... It's still all full. So as you can see in here, we've got a lot of uh, plates that would otherwise be going to the landfill. And all of these are biodegradable and compostable. Uh, so people think of just food waste in this, but no, it's anything biodegradable we can compost. And as you can see, even our, our beverage cups can be compostable. So they're made out of the cornstarch. Very cool. And there's your baby again. I'm just going to catch him. Uh, sorry, I, it's just such a great setting and he's listening to us talk. So tell me, all this is a lot of food waste. How many of these containers are going to go three times a week, you said? Yes. Um, at the moment, we are filling up about one bin per day for yeah. this area. Of the green bins. Of the green bins. Yeah. But uh, it is the winter season, so... Sure. It's our slow season. In the summertime, I'm assuming that this will be... A, lar a large amount of waste will be diverted from, from and, the land. And also you said you have like the food for the um, fish and... Yep. So all fish scraps, yeah. uh, behind the scenes, anything that is organic waste will yes. be... Or has been composted since February 2006 and will continue to be composted. So the only thing that we're adding to our composting program here is all of our public... So our post-consumer waste, which would include everything from the cafe mm -hmm. that the uh, guests have on their plate, everything sure. that can be composted will be going into our green bins here. And so from this whale, that's a whale. He's a beluga. A beluga. What would he contribute in terms of the waste stream? Some of the food that he doesn't eat or no? I'm not positive not sure. that Emac is contributing at all. Okay. He, he's, he pretty much likes to eat everything and anything in yeah. sight. Um, but some of the, there's uh, fish scraps that are not uh, good for the animals. All of the extra waste that's created from the, those food scraps will be put into the compost. And so just at the last bit, the numbers, you said maybe three times a week, how many of these and then how many of a smaller container? You gave me a number of maybe 10 of the smaller blue ones and 12 of the big ones. But we maybe have um, 12 green, large green bins on site Yeah. 12 a little bit smaller quantity of the blue bins, or yeah. smaller size, and the 12 bins are all dumped. I think we make about, we generate 12 of the small blue bins every other day, and then the green bins, I'd have to get the numbers That's back okay. to you actually. That's okay, it gives people a, an idea. And they all um, are picked up by uh, Smith Wright and taken to a compost facility. In Delta, BC. So they'll all be turned back into some good uh, soil. Yes, absolutely. Well, this fantastic project. Thanks so much, 